So today we are on the coast of the Mediterranean visiting the northeasterly Italian city of Trieste. The Mediterranean and Adriatic port city of Trieste, or Trieste in English, is a metropolis that exhibits a unique history and culture like no other in Italy. This is largely because of where Trieste is located. Both historically and contemporarily, the area in which the city is situated was often considered as being the intersection between various cultures, ethnicities and languages of Europe, and for this reason, Trieste presents a mixed identity that is unique to the city. With the history going back to the Romans, Trieste has fallen under the control and occupation of many nations and empires over the centuries. Most notably, Trieste was a major maritime and naval port city of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and at its peak, became its fourth largest city after Vienna, Budapest and Prague. Though today, Trieste is part of Italy, it is relatively close to the borders of modern-day Slovenia and Croatia, and it's also not too far from Austria. Due to historical displacement of peoples following the creation of modern borders, many people of Austrian, Slovenian and Croatian descent still reside here, and many still maintain their respective cultures, identities and languages. The city's architecture is emblematic of the cultural and historical influences that define modern-day Trieste. While Trieste certainly exhibits many Mediterranean elements of architecture, the city is also very well known for its Viennese architecture and coffee houses throughout the city, an influence from the old Austro-Hungarian Empire. Back when Trieste was part of what was historically the Austrian Riviera, which extended to modern-day Croatia, the city was connected to the imperial capital of Vienna through the famous Sudban, the southern railway of Austria, up until 1919, following the First World War. As well as being an important naval base for the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the city was also an important hub for both literature and music. Many famous Italian, Austrian, Slovenian and Croatian authors, musicians and intellectuals often frequented Trieste's institutions as well as its famous coffee houses. Today, Trieste is located within the province of Trieste and the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia, with a population of over 200,000. Following the city's tumultuous period during the Second World War, a significant part of Trieste's history is the period between 1947 and 1954, when Trieste was an independent territory under the direct responsibility of the United Nations Security Council. Back then, it was known as the Free Territory of Trieste, established under the Treaty of Peace with Italy in order to establish a neutral and independent country that accommodated an ethnically diverse population as well as to neutralize territorial disputes between Italy and the former Yugoslavia. The dissolution of Trieste as a free territory was only officially ratified in 1975 under the Treaty of Osimo, where it was divided between the two disputing neighbours, though it had already been de facto agreed upon in 1954. The city has many historical sites, each with its own fascinating story to tell, and each having been consecrated under the sovereignty of different occupying nations. Named after Saint Justus the Martyr of Trieste, the Trieste Cathedral of San Giusto was consecrated over the ruins of an early Christian basilica, which itself was built over an ancient Roman papilia and temple. Located on the same San Giusto hill, we find more fascinating Roman ruins of this ancient forum. So a relatively short walk from the city centre of Trieste can bring you on top of this hill on San Giusto, where archaeologists have discovered the remains of an ancient Roman city dating back to the 1st century AD. The ruins here on San Giusto Hill are largely from the remnants of an ancient Roman forum. This is where one may have found governmental and administrative offices, buildings of religious significance and tradesmen during the Roman times. Not far from these ruins is the Teatro Romano di Trieste, the Roman amphitheatre built at the end of the 1st century and likely to have been destroyed in the 6th century by the Lombards who invaded and besieged the city. The amphitheatre was then hidden during the Middle Ages under the medieval city wall and adjacent houses. One of the most well-known structures as well as one of the most renowned symbols of the city is the Castle of San Giusto, also located on the San Giusto Hill. The castle was constructed under the orders of Frederick III of Austria and took nearly 200 years to build between 1471 and 1630. 
Today, the castle is a museum as well as a venue for cultural events and concerts. The museum also houses an armories exhibition, which displays a collection of old arms and weaponry from various eras of the city's history. The city of Trieste is abundant in ambience, history and romantic charm. Everything from the city's heritage, its alleyways and streets, its architecture, the local cuisine and its coastline of the Adriatic and Mediterranean are all perfect reasons why this city deserves one's time to visit and appreciate. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.